Hello, my dear students. This is Mrs. Shaimela Reeb, and today is lesson about data handling part two. In this video, we are going to talk about bar charts, dot plot, waffle diagram, and pie chart. In the previous video, we said that these types of graphs or charts are used to graphically representing discrete data. So now, let's revise some rules before you watch any video. First, you have to sit in a quiet place. You should have your pen and a piece of paper to take notes and to solve questions. You should pause the video after each question, then you try to answer on your own. Then you play the video to check your answer and to understand the question in case you get a wrong answer. Are you ready? Let's start. First, let's talk about two types of charts here, the bar chart and the dot plot. Let's start by the bar chart. The bar chart is a graph that representing data using bars, as you can see here, so that the quantities and numbers can be easily compared. So, what is the most important thing when we draw a bar chart or any other chart, I want all of you to make sure that all the bars have the same widths, same widths, they are the same widths, and also they have the same space in between. Look at this space, is equal to this space, is equal to this space, and so on, okay? What else? Look at the scale here. When we draw any chart, we have to choose a proper scale. Okay, so as you can see here, the numbers are going by 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So the scale must go by same number. Now let's talk about the dot plot, the graph representing data using a dot to show the frequency of each number or category. So as you can see, as we said at any graph, we have to look at the scale and how it goes. Here it goes by two and this one, it shows the number of marks. And look at the title of the graph, the plot showing how many marks children scored in a test so these numbers representing the number of marks like who got one or how many students got one so we have only one student how many students got two we have one student got two in the test and so on okay so in any graph we have to label the graph with the proper scale and proper labels and title of the graph, as you can see. In the dot plot, we use dots to represent the frequency. And remember, we don't connect the dots in the dot plot. Now let's talk about waffle diagram and pie chart. The waffle diagram is a diagram representing data using a divided rectangle, where each section represents part of the total in proportion to the other categories. Look at this waffle diagram here. Also, in the waffle diagram, we will see the key. And the key shows us could be by colors, different colors to represent each section, or it could be different types of shading to represent each section or each information on this diagram. Now, let's talk about the pie chart. The pie chart is a chart representing data using a divided circle. So in the waffle diagram, it's a divided rectangle, and in the pie chart, it's a divided circle where each section represents part of the total in proportion to other categories. 
This is the pie chart and how it looks like. It has a center. And remember that all the parts should start from the center. I will divide this chart into parts starting from the center point. And it also has a key to show us which color, for example, represent which type of data or information. Okay, now we are going to take example on the waffle diagram. A number of club members were asked about their favorite color. The data is shown on this diagram, as you can see. We have green, yellow, white, blue, and red. So, look at this waffle diagram. Each color represents the number of members that prefer this color. Okay, so when I look at the waffle diagram, do I know how many club members participated in this survey? No, I cannot tell. Because the waffle diagram only shows us the data as fractions or parts in proportion to each other. So let's see the meaning of this by the first question. What fraction of the members prefer yellow? So I will go to the yellow. How many parts of yellow do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine parts out of how many parts in total yes it will be 9 over 36 i have 36 parts in total and i can also write it in the simplest form as 1 over 4 so the waffle diagram so far shows us the information as a fraction of a total or we can also change it into a percentage but actually we cannot tell how many members exactly preferred yellow they could be nine or they could be more or they could be less so i don't know the actual number of members yet let's see the next question if there are 18 members prefer yellow. So now I know how many members exactly prefer yellow. So the yellow parts here represents, or these nine parts represent 18 members. How many members were asked in total? So what do you think? I have two ways of thinking. From this information, I know that the nine parts here represents 18 members, which means I'm going to double the number of parts. So I can say, because of there are 36 parts in total, so when I double the 36, I will get the 72 as the total number of members that were asked in this survey the other way i can think of it as i know that the fraction of the yellow is quarter quarter of the whole number of members equals 18 so quarter of what gives 18 so i will just multiply the 18 by 4 which is 72 as well is this clear it's like fraction of an amount with missing amount next question how many members prefer red as i knew that each part here represents two members so I will just count the squares and then double it. I have five parts. So I double it. It will be 10. Or by using fractions of an amount, what fraction is the red? So it's 5 over 36 of 72 
which is the total number of members. So 72 divided by 36 equals 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. So sometimes you can find the information on the waffle diagrams with mentally without using fractions of an amount. Let's see the pie chart example. The children in a club chose their favorite pizza toppings. In this table, as you can see, we see pizza topping, olives, cheese, mushrooms, and peppers, and the number of children. Draw a pie chart to represent the data in the table. So, in order to draw a pie chart, first we know that we are going to draw a circle. So, and before we draw the circle, I need to identify the total number. So, the total number of children is 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3, 10. So, after I identified the circle, I will draw the circle and I will divide it into 10 sections because the total number is 10. So, I divided my circle into 10 equal parts or 10 equal sections. Then, what should I do? I have to label the sections using the key. So, I need to create a key for the pie chart. In the key, I will have olives, cheese, mushroom, and peppers. I can give each one a different color or a different type of shading. So, now I will start to plot the data on the pie chart. For the olive, how many children prefer olives? Three. So, I will color three parts with green. Three out of ten parts. What about the cheese? Four. Then I will color four parts of the ten parts with yellow. So I have one, two, three, four parts. And for the mushrooms, I will color just two parts with white. So now I have two parts out of ten for the mushroom and only one part for the peppers left to complete the total number of parts in the pie chart. Let's see what fraction of the children prefer olive. So what fraction? The olive I have three parts. So three out of ten, which means three over ten. What percentage of the children prefer mushrooms? So first, I will ask you what fraction prefer mushroom. Here it is. So it's a 2 over 10. Right? This is the fraction. If I want to change this fraction into percentage, it will be 20%. Then 20% of the children prefer mushrooms. Now, let's have different questions. A group of 20 children, each chose their favorite sport. As you can see in this waffle diagram, we have different types of sports, football, basketball, table tennis, volleyball, and cricket. So from this waffle diagram, we know that the total number of children that participated in this survey, they were 20 children. So now, let's see some questions. What was the most popular sport? By looking, you can tell that the most popular sport is the one with the biggest number of parts, which is basketball. Right? What is the second question? What was the least popular sport? By looking at the waffle diagram, we can tell that it is the cricket. Now, what percentage of the children chose table tennis? 
For the table tennis, I need to write the fraction first. Then I will change it into a percentage. What fraction pre prefer table tennis? Yes, it's 15 out of how many? 15 out of 100 because the total parts here in this waffle diagram, 100 parts in total. So the fraction will be 15 over 100 which is 15%. How many children chose table tennis? Now, I know the percentage of the children who chose the table tennis. I need to know the actual number of these children. So I just need to calculate 15% of 20 because 20 is the total number of children. So 15% of 20 equals 3 children. 10% of 20 equals 2. And the 5% of 20 equals 1. Then the 15% of the 20 equals 3. What percentage of the children did not choose football? We know that, look at the football, I have... 20% chose football. So what percentage didn't choose football? All the others, which is 80%. Okay, so 80% of the children didn't choose football. Now, how many children did not choose football? I need to calculate the 80% of the 20 children. So as we said before, the 10% equals 2, then the 80% equals 16 children didn't choose football. Now look at this example. It's a pie chart and it has here a key. 24 children in a club chose their favorite juice. The data is shown on this pie chart. So we have orange juice, mango juice, strawberry juice, and lemon juice. So look at the first question. What fraction of the children chose mango? So we are going to find the total parts in the pie chart. How many parts in total? 12 parts. And how many parts chose mango? 4. So it will be 4 over the total number, which is 12. 4 over 12. Or I can write it in the simplest form as 1 over 3. Second question, how many children chose mango? This is the fraction. We need now to find the actual number of the children. I know that the total number of children is 24. Then I want to calculate one-third of 24. One-third of 24 is 8 children. How many children chose strawberry? I need to find the fraction of the strawberry. It has three parts out of 12, so... 3 out of 12 of the 24, which is 6. 24 divided by 12 equals 2. Then multiply the 2 by the 3 equals 6. What proportion of the children chose lemon? So how many chose lemon? 3. And how many Three parts over 12 parts, which is 3 over 12 or 1 over 4. Is this clear? This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.